Good morning everyone. I just started talking to the camera and I hadn't actually pressed record so apologies for that but I'm in my car. I feel like I am driving my car for the first time in like a hundred years. I haven't driven since before we went to Italy. So weird, such a weird feeling. It is the most bright and glorious sunny day and I love that. However, my first plan of the day is not so bright and glorious because I am heading to the dentist. This is a two-part appointment to hopefully rectify the one thing in my mouth that really bothers me. I know that over the years I've been trying to straighten my teeth. I feel like it's just the universe telling me that I'm not supposed to have straight teeth and it's just never happened, has it? But I'm hoping we're on a really good trajectory now. That's a really difficult word to say quite quickly. So my first appointment today is to rectify some overfiling that's been done. So I'm going to have that done. My second appointment is at the end of the month and that will be to change the inlay that I have for from university where I cracked my tooth and couldn't afford to put a white one in. So I put this huge mass, well, I actually didn't put a huge massive silver one in. It was small to begin with. And then when it fell out, they took so much of my tooth away and filled it with this massive like metal bit. And I've just hated it. I, I wanted to get it done for my wedding. I was advised not to. However, I've seen my, my dentist at the moment and he's like, that was five years ago. You've had no issues whatsoever with that tooth. I think we should just go in and change it. And he is honestly like one of the best dentists I have ever been to in my life. Like he is so gentle and so just, thoughtful like every time he touches my face or my mouth he's like I'm going to touch just about here it might be a little bit of pulling and he's like he's been a breath of fresh air I'm a paying customer he's literally just local he has no idea who I am um, but so I'm going to him today I'm obviously not gonna film the treatment because I, I, it feels weird when it's like a local thing I don't know and also I don't want any of you to know who he is because it's hard enough getting an appointment with him anyway and it's like a private Thing that he does it's like a membership where you pay like an annual thing it's bizarre anyway um, so I'm heading there now that is the first port of call I am thinking that I'm most likely going to end up with a numb face which is worrying because I'm taking the girls that work with me out for a team building experience mainly because it's been a really really busy few months for all of the girls in the office we are nearing the um, end of a project that we've all had a huge part in and I think it's just going to be good to celebrate, get together. We're going to Social Pottery, which is a place in uh, Woburn, and we've got food from Nonna's, and it's just us. We've got private hire, and um, we're just going to enjoy painting some pottery and enjoying time together, I guess, and drinks and what have you, because it's just, yeah, it's just lovely. Um, and I feel really lucky that I get to do it with girls that I actually like enjoy their company. So that is, so far, the plan of action for the day. I've actually filmed a campaign this morning as well with Ali so we've been finishing up that I've washed my hair I've been listening to a podcast the Sun is shining I really need to water my greenhouse and that is it I am nervous it's probably why I've got like verbal diarrhea at the moment because I am nervous I get nervous about these things I don't want an injection in my mouth I think I'm gonna get it so it makes me nervous but it's all for a thing that has annoyed me for quite some time and then I'm gonna get home get myself ready for the evening's adventure and hopefully get some time in the garden as usual so yeah really really looking forward to it and um, what's that notification Bizarre. anyway I am gonna get on my merry way and hopefully I won't be slurring too much when I come back on camera because yeah not gonna be a good look. Well, <laughs> I'm trying not to laugh. If I look like I've just woken up from a nap, it's because I did. That has never happened to me before. Oh my gosh, I fell asleep having dental work done. That, I would like that to put into perspective. I'm sorry, this is talking is so hard. How amazing my dentist is. Like, honestly, I think if I, if I thought it before, it's like, set in stone now he is hands down the best dentist i have ever found in my life i fell asleep i can't like i was having basically just to explain to you what i was having done today is where i've had my tooth filed for my invisalign it created a space where every time i was eating 
food was going up there and it was honestly one of the most uncomfortable experiences I've ever had and it's meant that I've had to like carry floss around with me and things like that and it's been re really really uncomfortable and annoying and so we were like looking to correct that basically as well we're gonna see how it goes um there's obviously a crack in my tooth there anyway now and so we just have to play it by ear but I fell asleep I honestly I can't believe it. obviously my side of my face is really numb to like here like I actually that is so such a weird feeling <laughs> such a weird feeling like it feels it feels like a foreign object on my face anyway next is the big one but if it's anything like that i'm super super excited i've got to be careful like what i'm eating and drinking this evening but um for the most part good to go so fingers crossed the uh numbness wears off in the time leading up to us going out this evening but i'm gonna head home and get in the garden <laughs> So I just snuck up on Ali. He cannot help himself in the garden. He just loves making it look beautiful. I just love when I come home and he's like cleaning the patio because the patio now to me is another thing that I'm like, needs to be kept nice and clean. It looks so beautiful. Um, I'm now in my greenhouse giving everything a good water. This is my quiet time and time for my face to regain some of its feeling, but um, it's all looking rather lovely in here. And I'm just gonna potter and just give everything a good old water. I might do a bit of a job of the bumblebee by uh, self-pollinating some of these gorgeous blooms, but I wish that you could smell it in here because it is my favorite smell. Everything is watered and I have just dampened down the floor. That helps to bring the temperature in my greenhouse down so that things don't get too toasty in here. But I am seeing some little lemons on there. Oh, so exciting. But yeah, I just pour what is a full watering can onto the floor so that it just cools things down in here. Evaporates, keeps everything nice and damp, but very, very happy with how things look in here at the moment. Well, we finally have some makeup on and we are just, about, every so often my mouth goes, oh, we just about have the uh, movement back in our face. You can kind of see it when I go like this. So off to one side, but um, yes, I am ready to go to social pottery and I'm wearing a super old dress. Well, super old. It's probably about three or four years old. This is from Stoud and it is the most beautiful shade of green and I feel like this is a really good dress to wear with my Jambati Savali jacket um, if I want to like dress it up a little bit but basically we're not going out or anything like that but I just thought if we go for drinks I don't think we will but if we do I just want to feel lovely so I thought a dress and then a smart jacket will fit the bill I think I've got more waves in this side of my hair and it needs a good old brush out. Yeah, so this is the dress on. I think the neckline on this is just gorgeous. I think I'm gonna wear my flat Emmy Londons. And I tell you what, these are so much more robust than the Ralph Lauren ones that I had. Admittedly, they're more expensive, but considering they're suede, they have traveled the world already and are still going strong. So I'm very happy about that. I am tidying the dressing room. And so yes, this is sort of more of a dress down version than the actual Jan Batista Varley dress, I personally think. Um, obviously it's dressed down for Lydia Millen. We know that Lydia Millen loves to dress up. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just a bit more of a casual vibe, I think. But this is when Lydia Millen does casual. Um, I'm trying to decide whether I take my mini Kelly or my 25 Birkin. Now, let's close it up because I always feel like it looks cuter when it's closed up. 25, I think. It's a bit more like dressed 
down, I think. And then I'm going to take a new little um, claw clip because I ordered a load of tortoiseshell claw, claw clips on Amazon. Where did I put them though? Are they all in here? So there is a big set of these clips on Amazon and this is my favourite one because it's like a fern leaf and it's so lovely when you clip your hair back and obviously I'm going to need to have a clip because we're going to be painting pottery and I don't want to get my hair in my face but I don't know if I'm going to take the leaf one I think what I might do is take a more plain one so there's loads of different sizes and different options but this is just a little plain tortoiseshell I feel like the tortoiseshell is better on my skin um, and just looks better and I love that it's just like a plain do you know what I mean it's just like a simple clip but just like the right color I think so yeah that's going in the bag fragrance is Chantecaitier again I've almost run out so I desperately need to order another bottle which I went onto the Chantecaitier website and it's blooming sold out so I have to look somewhere else but ready to go we're taking wine with us we're also stopping off at nonna's to pick up not my nonna the restaurant nonna's and we're picking up like platters of food and things like that to eat whilst we're there and to enjoy with our wine so yes good to go so we have arrived to social pottery in woven sands and oh my goodness this is so adorable look at all of this so basically what you do is you choose um, whatever it is that you want, what you want to paint, whatever. That includes like the firing, the paint, all of that stuff. And you just choose and you get to paint and it is so beautiful in here. The girls have just gone to collect the food. I love this one. I love this sort of style of urn. That would look so good in my dressing room. I think I'm going to do one of these little mini ones because I love that. But then I also love the idea of attempting to paint um, one similar to my um, like urns that I got from time because you can't get them anymore so oh look this one has like actual little embossed flowers on it oh, this is just so gorgeous the food has arrived from Nana's and we've got crackers we've got cheese meats bread potatoes oh so good so welcome to social party go for a lighter base Dark color on top because otherwise you won't be able to see it if you do it the other way around. Basically, okay. all right, you go here. I, I love your glasses. Honestly, when you say you understand, <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> it's perfect. It is absolutely perfect. No pressure. No pressure. Way to do it by tapping. Tap, 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 tap. I don't want to plagiarize. If you're not selling it, it's not plagiarism. Because I'm copying George Bromley because he won't sell me any more of his um, <laughs> so I'm doing with myself. I'm taking that into my own hand. Yeah, yeah, it's really George. It's like doing David Strickley prints. And yeah, you're yeah. like, you're not printing any more of those pieces? I'll just take them and yeah, yeah. it myself. Also, can't afford eight, 80,000 pounds for one of your prints? I'm just going to photo copy your tea towels. <laughs> Good 
morning everyone oh my gosh actually it's the afternoon it's the afternoon i've spent the morning in the garden um i feel like i need to explain yesterday because um i i was so not like aware that we were going to the actual place so basically a few weeks ago i saw on not a few it might have been a few months ago i saw on lily pebble's story that she went to a place called social pottery in london i instantly like saw the story sent it to carrie and i was like we need to do this because it's basically a place where you go and you select your item of pottery from the shelves and then you get to paint it however you want and I've never tried doing like actual pottery like on the wheel um, and I'm not sure if I'd be any good at it but I definitely wanted to try painting pottery. One thing you'll know is that I bought these two incredible urns from George Bronwyn and I've been trying to get more of the green style from him for such a long time but he just doesn't appear to be producing them and so I wanted to try doing my own little like inspired pottery pieces uh, just for my home just for like things in my dressing room etc anyway sent it to Carrie Carrie then booked it and booked it for like a team day and I thought we were going to London because I saw social pottery in my diary so I was like I, I guess we're going to London to do this. It came to the day and I was like, yeah, so we're going to London. And Carrie was like, no, we're going to Woburn. I was like, Woburn? But I thought it was the same place that Lily went to. She's like, it is, there's one in Woburn. I was like, no way. So the owner actually lives locally and she started her business in London. In the pandemic, she was doing pottery painting kits, which I obviously had no idea about. And then she opened the studio in Woburn. So we went down there and when I tell you that I don't think I have enjoyed like drinking wine with the girls and doing something like that ever before in my life, it was so therapeutic. We actually got there at like, it ended up being about seven o'clock and I have to be honest, I wanted to be there all day. It was so enjoyable, just so lovely. Like, and also seeing everybody's different like personalities coming out and that kind of thing was just so wonderful like I just loved it and we went for drinks afterwards and um, I ended up coming home and Ali had cooked me a pizza in the pizza oven which I felt very very lucky in fact it's, I thought there was some left over that I could have for lunch so I've just been pottering really in the garden I think I'm going to go and grab my book um, but what I have just done is I pinched out my cosmos the ones that I sewed that are what are they called they're like the the really really ruffly ones and um, I can't remember what they're called, but I've popped the bits that I've pinched out into water to see if I can get them to grow roots, because I'd love to be able to do two buckets of Cosmos in this style as well. I've got the normal uh, purity either side of my greenhouse, but I would really like to see if I could get two pots of these as well. And I'll just go to the local antique shop and grab some buckets or something and put them in there, just so we can like, pop them around but you'll probably let me know in the comments if this is even possible even possible but I've like um popped them in some little bud vases like this and I'm just gonna see how they do um I'm, I'm probably wishful thinking here this one already looks like it's not doing too well but we shall see speaking of sort of new found hobbies I guess because I genuinely want to keep going to social pottery to do painting um I came across this on, this was a very, very well-placed Instagram advert, and um, this is something that I've been asking for for Christmas, but I really wanted to do like a good, like a nice one, and this was served to me as an ad. This is the calligraphy box, and basically it's a subscription service for learning calligraphy. I have really awful handwriting, but I actually think that that's down to the fact that I really rush when I'm writing, and so I want to slow it down and... Um, hopefully i'll be able to do things like place settings when i have my friends over just myself just it's literally just for me and i saw this and i signed up instantly to 12 months um and i'll link it in the description box down below this is definitely like i'm paying for this and it, i think it costs around 25 pounds a month um every month when you do it over 12 months but like it's so it, it's just the way that i wanted to do it. you know the wax seals everything is just so beautiful and this is just kind of like a a background on why she started the business and everything like that there's Facebook groups there's online lessons um, yeah I just thought it'd be really a lovely way of doing it so yes that is gonna be something that I am devoting to over the next 12 months um, anything to get me not spending as much time on my phone is 
a good thing in my eyes. And so yeah, I'm just looking to learn more things. Like, um, I don't know if I told you, but my grandma uh, messaged me yesterday. I'll pop a link on, uh, I'll pop a picture on screen. But I bought her a really beautiful Bertioli um, tablecloth. Now my grandma is in her, well into her 80s now. But I bought it for her because when she does like host, which isn't very often, she'll put out beautiful uh, table linens and things like that if you're, if you're wondering where I get it from. Um, but it's not that often anymore. And so I can understand why she's done this and I'm actually completely jealous. So my grandma can like reupholster things. She can, um, she can embroider things. Like she used to have, a, well, she still does have a sewing room in her house. When I lived with her, it was the room that was opposite my room. And honestly, I, I think my biggest regret when um, I lived with her is not learning absolutely everything from her because that would have been such a, a, a dream. And I have actually asked her for embroidery lessons from her. But she's basically taken this table linen and turned it into the headboard in her guest bedroom. It's the oak one and I am so beyond jealous. You have no idea. I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to know how to do this. Because I think one of the biggest things that um, I really get impatient with, obviously I've got my blinds coming and all of the new upholstery bits, but it takes a long time. I'd love to be doing it myself and learning myself. In fact, I know that Carrie mentioned about doing an upholstery course um, or learning to upholster and I think, do you know what, I'd love to do that too. Just all of these things that I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm 35 years old, there is still so much that I want to learn how to do. And yeah, so calligraphy, pottery painting, upholstery, embroidery, you name it, that's what I'm intending to do it a little bit more of. So hopefully maybe we can go on the journey together. I am coming out to the kitchen garden to inspect my first ever sweet pea oh my goodness me oh it smells stunning <gasps> wow my first ever sweet pea i think we should soon be getting more they say the more you pick the more they come so i'm tempted to just pick that one but i want kind of like a ruffly little bunch of them and my cosmos are doing super well as well by the um door and then my monge too is it weird that i want to pick the monge too flowers as well these little pink ones are so adorable but i won't be picking those because hopefully they will turn into little pods of monge too goodness me nothing yet though although monge too i feel like you have to look really really hard to actually see if there is a pod but i don't think there are any just yet this is sort of the first flower of the season. Well, it is too hot in the best, best possible way. So I've done something a bit different with my hair and I've popped it up in a ponytail, but I always find on me that ponytails look really, really casual and also sometimes quite uh, glam. So I've popped a little green velvet bow in the top of my ponytail and it picks out the green of my Amelia Wickstead dress. At the moment, I can't find my phone, so we're searching for that and then we're gonna get out for the day. But I really like my outfit. I haven't decided on shoes yet, but this dress is just, oh, love it. Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday, the sun is shining. And I've got some boho waves going on this morning. Um, this is what my hair or my extensions look like when I use um, GHD straighteners to do the waves instead of the babbless thing and I don't know if I like it more. It feels a little bit more relaxed but quite boho as well. Um, today I have a really really exciting day so we're heading to the Cotswolds and um, I have a meeting with the Holland Cooper team. We're I think we're heading to their store which I've never been to. I've been to the one in Bicester but I've never been to one of their like proper front of season type of stores. I'm gonna be meeting Jade at her house, which obviously I won't be filming. Um, but yeah, we've never like sat down and just had like a chat. We met at Cheltenham, which was honestly incredible. But um, this is gonna be a proper time where I get to like chat and just, I feel like there are so many things that I could pick her brain about because she's just honestly, she's incredible. So um, yes, I'm, I'm heading there today, which I'm really looking forward to. We're driving down and it should just be a full on like Holland Cooper experience. So, my outfit of the day is one of my favourites. This is um, an Arvel dress, and what I love to do 
is add my Holland Cooper Knightsbridge blazer over the shoulders like this. I mean, I think it's gonna be warm today, so I don't know if I'll actually need it too much, but um, it is supposed to rain a little bit later on, so I think this will be really lovely. I'm gonna wear my Emmy London flats, but they're downstairs, and I'm going to take my 25 Birkin, I think. I need to go and put all of my jewelry on. The birds are singing. I've been up since um, half five. It's an early start. We're leaving at half seven to drive to um, meet them and just start the day. All lovely. Also, I think I've been touching my hair a lot in videos since having my extensions done. And I just want to apologize because it obviously takes a little bit of getting used to. Like often I'll look in the mirror and I'll be like, whoa, my hair is not sitting how it normally sits. And um, I've got something in my eye. And as we know, I'm a bit of a faffer with my hair anyway. So I apologize. I'm doing it now. I really apologize, but I think it just, it's a weird one when you've um, got extensions because it feels like you've just completely like changed your identity and you don't know your hair anymore. So it sits in ways that you don't really know. And you obviously don't want your extensions to sort of be on show either. And I have this unique job where I like, I'm looking at myself all the time and I'm like, oh, let's hide that little join there. <laughs> anyway. I am dressed, ready to go. I'm gonna go and pot a little cosmos. It's not in bloom yet, but I thought I'd take it with me just as a little gift. What do you take the woman that has everything? Um, a cosmos that's not in bloom in a pot. Because honestly, I don't think I'd be able to take anything that she doesn't have. So I thought I'd bring her something lovely that maybe with her kids she can pot up or something like that. And yeah, that's my thought process, but I hope she likes it. <laughs> anyway, I'm hot. This is wool. Let's get going. Look at that sunlight over the kitchen garden. Listen to the sounds, oh my goodness. And we have my first sweet pea. So what I wanted to do was take a bunch of sweet peas for her, but seeing as only one is in bloom, I think that that's probably, <laughs> um, probably not the right option. Just here's your one sweet pea, but um, there's lots in bud. So yes, very, very exciting. Um, the light out here is so gorgeous. Cosmos are going nuts. And, ooh, we have cucumber blooms. That's good, isn't it? So I think what I'm going to do is probably take this little one. I was going to try and pop it into a different pot. I shouldn't really be doing this in this dress, but we're gonna give it a go. Give her a little rustic pot. There we go, little cosmos with some moss and fresh little manure. <laughs> there you go, my love. There is a pot of poo. <laughs> I'm not doing that, but this is her little gift. I have finally arrived to the mecca that is the Holland Cooper Boutique. I'm here at Dunkerton's Park. I've never been here before. I've driven past when we came to, to Cheltenham and I was like, I must come and have almost like an afternoon here and just really get to explore. So today I've got that opportunity and I'm here with Jade herself, which is such a treat for me. We've just been to her house to have coffee and just chat and really sort of just get to grips with everything that's coming from Holland Cooper and now I get to see the actual boutique in person and go and take a look around and also probably end up with a shopping list as long as my arm so let's head inside and see what's new see what's coming a lot of the things will launch in here long before uh, they go on the website so it's always really good to come and have um, a look around if you're in the area as well but we're gonna go and have a look around and hopefully find some new pieces Test them 
Yeah, yeah, that's new. Yeah, yeah, that's new. Wow. Oh, that. that is beautiful for spring. Wow, and summer. Oh my goodness. Oh no, stop it. Isn't it going to have a shopping list as long as my arm? <laughs> We've just come to the boutique. This is my first time at the boutique, by the way, and I'm very, very excited. So hopefully I'll be doing some shopping. <laughs> And I think, you know, we obviously, this tailoring is at the heart of who we are. So it's, we always have that at the forefront, regardless of the season. Yes, yeah, yeah. Because we sell these coats all year. They're not just a seasonal no piece. Yeah, no, absolutely. We sell them all year. You know, even the heavyweight pieces, you can either shop it here or at Biston. There's only two places yeah. to shop it. So I wow, think... Wow, I did not know that. Yeah. Wow, it's, it's a real destination. It is, it okay. is. So people come... They've thought about what they're going to buy. They've been lusting after, you know, a select piece of tailoring. So we never want to be that brand that at this time of year we don't have any of our tailoring because I truly believe it is all year round. And as we know, in this country, it is cold yeah. most of the time. That's why Sadly, we're, we're, but it is. When I sent over some okay. selects for our trip to Ireland, I was like, I think I'm going to take a trench coat yeah. because I know what Ireland is like. If anyone's watched our previous one. <laughs> They'll know the island is usually wet whenever I go, so... Um, this is some of our new coloured pieces. I think that the most interesting thing about your pieces as well is I can see why people would want to actually come and experience it in person because even just this, I've not seen this fabric in person. So and it's beautiful. so much more intricate in the in the flesh than, yeah. than you get in that lovely online. open weave. You yeah. can see it. It's really the texture of it. Um, and even, like, the hardware details. Yeah. I think... It is lovely to come and see it, and I think people that have been fans of the brand, they haven't been here before. Yeah. But it's kind of like kids in the sweet shop yeah. sort of environment. I just literally ran off yeah. like across the shop because I was like, right, you see everything. Yeah. <laughs> I know this, I know, and it's really lovely because we get them and like, oh, and there's a <coughs> coat that I've been looking yeah. out, or I've only seen it online, or um, so it's lovely to be able to showcase as much as we can here. And like, it's nuts that the, the reaction that these get. They are like, and they're so brilliant, aren't yeah. they? They're so warm. I was yeah. so tired of having freezing feet. And trying to get your feet into wellies now, it's just like a lovely experience. Yeah. And I'm sorry, you need to get these for Flo. Oh, little Flo. Flo. Everyone that comes in here is like, oh, the, the small ones. Let, let me find someone to buy these for because they're yeah, just yeah. so adorable. Because <laughs> they are just heaven. Um, and the little green one. So it's, you know, all of that kind of nice gifting. And, and also these loafers are brilliant gifts, yeah. aren't they? they are, the they're the gift, great. Yeah, they're the, they're the gift that you don't know you need until you own it. And, and then you like, think, I, I live in these. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's like a guilty <laughs> pleasure. It's like, I actually do live in, in these. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, right, that, that. It's, it's just, a, yeah, just it's a day shopping for me. <laughs> Love that. Yeah, that's this is very you. Yeah, yeah, that is you. Yeah, it's like beautiful. You have like the coral lipstick. Yeah, Thank yeah. You. And it's still doing what it says on the tin. Yeah, these genius. genius. They're so genius. nice, and the length is lovely as well, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. And this, I've seen you in that as well. Yeah, it, it's the it's the fit. You, that, that's the thing. And the fabric feels yeah. lovely, doesn't you, it? You have that like that edge where you actually think about how women look in these things, and that's for me what makes them completely different. Is that when I'm putting on my gilet, I don't want to look like I'm wearing a box. I want it to, to be fitted. To be fitted. A absolutely. And why shouldn't we want that? Exactly. Exactly. And, and for the attention to detail to still be there and yeah. have the nice little gold finish yeah. or the bungees or draw in at the waist yeah. a little bit. Or I think all of those things make you feel okay. I'm in the garden, but still, yeah. if someone was to pop in, I wouldn't be like, oh, what am I wearing? <laughs> Hide. <laughs> those products that you really, really love and that you know they're going to be enjoyed by loads and loads of people, and then there are the people that really love the brand and they want those special pieces yeah. and your butter pieces where it's like you get to be a bit more experimental with your sort of design input and things like that but you know your customers so well that they sort of all they get excited about it like the different colorways of the jackets they're they're ones when people are going to be dressing up a little bit more in summer but then you've got those more staple everyday pieces like the the polo shirts i think it's yeah. yeah, and people will come on a journey with the brand often. They'll come in yeah. and they will maybe buy a t-shirt, but then 
they will save up and they will buy that yeah. investment coat or the blazer or a piece that they've really lusted after for many years and yeah. that's really lovely when somebody comes in and they buy it and you can see how special that's going to be for them yeah and they will cherish that yeah. product and that's so lovely in this trans tr you know the world where people are fashion is very transient and people mm. are throwing things away and they're only wearing them once we're trying to do the polar opposite yeah now, where you're actually thinking this blazer i'm gonna keep forever and i love it yeah and that's yeah. wonderful giving you know fashion longevity absolutely which I think is really what we're trying to celebrate so now I get to have some fun and do a little bit of shopping for myself. I've seen quite a few things that I'm very, very interested in in here. Um, first and foremost is this beautiful, beautiful Knightsbridge blazer in the sort of duck egg blue hound's tooth. This is going to be so gorgeous for summer. And it means I don't have to compromise on... Um, my like ability to basically wear blazers and wear my sort of usual tweeds over beautiful dresses so I can try that one on as well um, I'm very interested in some of these scarves because I've definitely not seen all of these before which is very nice and this is a new set that is launching and I just tried this on Jade was wearing this I don't know if you've already seen it in the video but um, it is so beautiful like the perfect like chalk stripe pinstripe suit with matching trousers I've actually gone for the trousers as well so I'm going to try those on lots to choose from it's just like being a kid in a candy store because it feels like there's just so much this is like my two styles but in two rooms we've got the country wear and then we've got the lovely tailored more dressy pieces as well in here there's also the linen which is gorgeous this pink pink linen is so so stunning oh i love that very lovely this is the hound's tooth version of the jacket that i had on this morning um definitely more spring summer appropriate i think and still Again, as with all of the Holland Cooper pieces, go so beautifully alongside those more classic accessories and simple pieces like this white dress. This is just, oh my God, I'm obsessed. Oh my God, I love this so much. This is another of the Knightsbridge blazers, but this is one I've been eyeing up online for quite a while. And I wasn't sure if it was very me. And you know what, now I'm like, I actually need this in my collection because this is how I love to add colour into my like outfits nowadays. You might not be able to see it because the lighting is quite dim in here. But um, it's got this beautiful, almost like lilac, heathery, lavendery colour that is um, thread through the tweed and the hound's tooth. And then the patches on the arms are also lilac. I'll show you this one um, in a different light. But basically so that I don't have to keep buying new handbags or new shoes. I stick to these more neutral tones, which are picked out in um, this blazer anyway. So it's super complimentary, super traditional, but it's got that really fun element of color on the patches. I am in love with this. It's so much more like playful and good for summer, a little bit of color. And again, it's in this silhouette that's not going to date, which I love. I basically live with jackets over my shoulders at this time of year, so this is a definite yes. And as with everything in England, the weather is very, very unpredictable. And this is a beautiful tweed trench coat, which is the sort of signature style from Holland Cooper. Now, again, it's quite dark in here, so I'm zooming in close so that you can see it's got this beautiful chocolate tweed, but with leather accents and perfect with a midi dress like this still. You can wear it thrown over your shoulders or you can pop it on properly and belt it at the waist with dresses like this. But at this time of year when, you know, there is a storm imminent today, you'll be thankful that you own one of these because they're warm, they look beautiful and they're stunningly made. I actually don't think that I could love this any more. Oh my goodness. So this is the pinstripe blazer with the trousers that go with it, but I've popped it on with the most feminine ruffly blouse you have ever seen. And I actually really love the way the ruffles, in fact, I might even do that up to the top. I think that gives it that more like formal preppy vibe, but the, the details of the cuff coming out with those warm accessories, obviously I'd probably wear some kind of heel with this, but I love this as like, day-to-day -day wear. You could pop this with like plimsolls 
um, you could pop it with uh, some like ballet flats as well for that more like on androgynous feel but I actually think this is gorgeous and you can also get some heels on with it oh my god I didn't think I was gonna love this this much but this is so cute <gasps> so classic this is so cool look at this knee <laughs> Literally, I've had the best day. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank it's you. honestly been the best day ever. I've honestly loved this. Thank so you. thank you. We are driving. What's that pop film? Uh, the hurricane film? Is it hurricane film? Um, was it a pop? Uh, not apocalypse. No. no. Anyway, I can't remember. But we're going right into the eye of the storm. Well, yeah. Nice. We've just finished up at Dalesford, and we are heading home for the afternoon to actually do some proper work. We've had a lovely afternoon with the, the team at Holland Cooper and then we impromptu, had an impromptu stop for lunch at Dalesford. And um, yeah, I think we should probably go and do some actual actual work. So we've had a very leisurely Monday, haven't we? We have. You stocked up on your Bamford candles. Yes, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, I think I have found my summer candle this year. Um, I, I don't think I've, I've, smel I've smelt the, the, the Bamford candles when they're like the spa candles but I've never smelt those ones. They come in green glass, and this one is their wisteria one, and it's almost got that sort of summery, not sickly sun creamy fragrance, but it's like, it's very, it's like a delicate sunshine floral. It's their wisteria one. I'll, I'll talk to you about it when I get home, but yeah, I kind of bought it bulk because it was green, it smelled beautiful, and I haven't come across my, my summer candle yet. It was like it was supposed to happen, so yeah. Anyway, home James! The rain has arrived in a matter of seconds. But look how warm the ground yes. is. It's actually steaming. Oh my gosh, lightning! Lightning! <laughs> yeah, the ground is steaming. Oh my gosh. There's like fork lightning. I felt like it was right there, but why aren't we hearing the thunder? Because that means it's miles away. It felt like it was right there, didn't yeah. it? Wow, got it! Yay! Wow, okay. The camera's not showing how dark it is. Wow. I'm actually quite scared because that was right in front of us. This is like the night that I went and met Ali's um, parents for the first time when we'd like been on like one date and uh, I drove into a puddle. Oh my God, that mini! Oh, oh no, well done, mini! Well done! Yay! You did it! <laughs> This is wild. I've just put my suspension on full whack. I would advise for you to turn round. Okay, sweetie. Mr. Yaris. Okay, sweetie, you got this. Get okay. Oh my God. Okay, into the middle. Okay. <gasps> You've off-roaded in Norway. You're good at this. Yes, but I don't think but I've slowly, been slowly, slowly, slowly. Holy shish kebab. This is deep. Wow. Okay. You made it! I am so glad I'm in this car. I nearly said to you, we'll go in the Aston. Oh my god. We wouldn't have put home in the Aston. No. Oh. But nor would your shopping in fairness. No. <laughs> right, that's I'm so glad I have this car. Oh blighty, you are quite special sometimes. Another one? Oh sugar. <gasps> Everything These minis flooded. are so great. I've not seen it where this seems to have happened out of nowhere. I got sunburnt sat in Dale's yeah. head. <laughs> I'm currently driving with um, the option that, like, basically, it hires up the, the suspension above the chassis. So my car is so much louder because there's so much space underneath. But wow, I feel, yeah, this is just. I'm just literally thanking myself for not going in the other car. 
I can't believe this is it, this sums up British weather. Yeah. You can be in glorious sunshine, and within the space of 40 minutes, villages are flooded and takes road to a standstill. Yeah. This is mad. And the camera is showing this as bright in the sky. It's really not. It's so dark. Yeah, because it? it's got auto brightness. It's always the thing when I'm like, I come on my camera and I'm like, it's so dark outside. But the reality is, is that because the camera has auto brightness, it brightens everything up. But this is, this looks like dust yeah. at the moment. Whoa. I am back home after a truly lovely day with the Holland Cooper team. Ali and I have had dinner and I'm exhausted because I didn't sleep very well last night. Just, I think I was just too excited. I don't know, I think that must be it. I'm just too excited. I'm like a child. However, you would have seen us driving back in what was a really, really quite scary storm. And I, honestly, I was like, I'm, I'm so glad I'm in this car because I, I think the, the outcome would have been really different if we were in a different car. That car is just so equipped for that and I just changed the suspension and it was, oh, it just meant that we got home and I felt safe because it really was just us two and yeah, you just, it got so dark, the rain was so strong, the thunder and lightning I promise you was like right in front of us. However, the sad reality is, is where there is a storm there is often destruction and I want to show you our beautiful wildflower, I hope. I so hope that it bounces back because at this moment in time it is heartbreakingly flattened in a turn of events that I'm just I've never seen before. This is about you know four foot tall wildflower and now it's just flat on the ground. I'm trying to not destroy it any further but in all honesty you could see all of the debris. There was a lot of um mess and things like that there's a lot of mess on on here we're gonna have to sweep the patio the cat mint is as flat as a pancake look at that i really really hope everything bounces back looking very green though those hydrangeas are going to come out very soon but yes there's leaves everywhere debris on the lawn how sad we've got look how much rain there's been these were empty that is how much rain has fallen you can see on the little a hurricane jar just how much rain we've had the garden will be loving it and our lawn will be loving it because the lawn really has been uh, craving some water and we did actually water it the other day and it bounced back really quickly but again it needs it needs some TLC so that will have helped massively good afternoon everyone I have freshly washed hair and a freshly applied layer of Saint-Tropez Express um, I was filming some content for them this morning and I'm so excited. This month I'm actually leading their campaign, which is just so exciting for me, especially with a brand that I've worked with for such a long time. I have this dress on at the moment, which is a beautiful little gingham number that's so lightweight. Um, and yesterday was just a roller coaster of emotions, wasn't it? Such a great day in the Cotswolds, then the storms, it was wild. Um, I still have to show you the bits that I got from Dalesford. And also I wanna show you the two blazers that came in the daylight as well. Um, I've had a delivery from Hello Petal. Some of her new kits have arrived. But one thing I do have up here is my new watering can. This is for my bedroom, uh, for my dressing room up here. Cause I just thought it's one of those sort of watering cans that's a bit more beautiful than normal ones. So when I leave it on display and I put water in it ready to do the, the watering in here, it's not so bad. I'm actually having a recipe day today we are working on a few little recipes and just working out the flavors and things like that i know that i've been featuring a lot of recipes recently that you guys have wanted and hopefully today we're going to perfect them all and then bring them to you which is exciting it's just something that i'm like working on a bit of a passion project but we've got a whole day of um, recipe tasting today. So all of the ingredients have arrived. I am gonna head downstairs. We've got everything out working as a team on this because my time frame to get this right is limited. And so that is the plan of action for the day. It is so nice and sunny today. The sun is shining. It is a glorious, glorious day. 
There are many ingredients out on the side at the moment. Um, a lot of these aren't in season at the moment, but they will be in season when you have the, the recipes, I guess. Um, so we've had to buy things from the supermarket, which is not ideal for how we want to do this, but it's important that we get these right to begin with. So there's lots of like cucumbers, carrots, uh, rhubarb, those kinds of things. There's a lot of alcohol as well. You might see that because we're also um, doing a little bit of drinks tasting as well. So that is where we're at, which is exciting. I don't even know what's in here. Probably some bread or something. And it has absolutely descended into carnage. There is vegetables bubbling away on the stove. There is a lot of alcohol being consumed at the moment. I'm, I'm about to make more English sparkling wine on the go. It's just, yeah, we're going in. Well, we're on our second cocktail down. This one was so cute. We did a sugar and uh, lemon zest frosted rim and oh this is just so good and this is one that you can do either um, virgin or pack loads of gin or vodka into it lovely well that was a very productive day over and done with Ali is now being productive in the garden as you can hear he is leaf blowing all of the all of the um, rubble is clearing up the um, garden after the storms basically this is just one of the things that we made today so this is a pick a lily we're not sure if we're going to go with this recipe by the way i'm not doing a cookery book don't worry um <laughs> i'm just testing out some recipes that i want to put on the blog but um the other thing that we did which was so delicious this is some rhubarb syrup for like cocktails and things like that um more like spring vibes but we made the most beautiful spring cocktail. It was so lovely, very seasonal with the first sort of forced rhubarb. Um, and this was the uh, syrup that we made. So I bottled it up, but yes, very, 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 very exciting. It's really lovely actually. Some of the things in my fridge, it's all starting to, to turn into like my own produce, which is so nice. Ali is also watering in our, I was very close, um, our wildflower seeds. I bought him some Emma's Gate seeds which is a completely wild, I can't remember, there was a specific one that I went for, but he's sown that now. It's supposed to be sown at the end of spring, beginning of summer, so I feel like it's good for this time. And he's just sown those. They are a royal warrant holder. It was a little gift that I got him for his birthday. And um, you can come out now, my little hooligans. <laughs> Listen to him, telling everyone off, he's gonna go tell his dad off. But I thought, seeing as our house smells of piccalilli, I would show you what I got at Dalesford. I showed you the watering can, that was the other thing, but I have found my summer candle. It's, I think it's new because I've not seen them. And usually I go for Dalesford own over the actual Bamford candles themselves. But these, first of all, were green which you know I love. And this is their wisteria candle. Now, admittedly, wisteria has, most of the blooms have gone um, in summer. So it's probably not the best seasonal name for it, I think. But if I can get it firm and open, it has that real summery fragrance to it. And obviously in the little green tumblers, it's got that sort of like, like, work with me here like Nivea sunscreen kind of fragrance that really delicate soft a little bit sort of powdery um sun creamy fragrance but then there's also there's something sweet in there and it's just beautiful absolutely beautiful they did say that this was one of their most popular um of all of them that this is their garden candle in wisteria i like the um minimal branding to it i like that it's just got this beautiful kind of uh olivey green tumbler i bought four i bought four because i liked it so much i've not even burnt it to see what it's like but i think i will actually like this one now to try and get it nice smelling nice again and it just goes with the decor anyway so i will update you on that candle but that is my summer candle of choice you okay my love yeah. Get past that. what do you want to tell me you look like you want to tell me something i'll ask you Oh, for dinner, we have a spiced parsnip soup with sourdough bread. Would you like it on the terrace? 
When is it due to be raining? I don't, I don't think there is any rain due at the moment. I do, but that can only go by the weather forecast, my love. I can confirm that this candle smells incredible. Like, it has filled the whole kitchen with the most beautiful fragrance. I hate it when you buy a candle and there's not enough fragrance payoff, but this is gorgeous. Oh my goodness, perfect summer candle. And you can obviously reuse these as tea lights that will give a really beautiful green glow in like summer. So you can use that for tablescapes, that kind of thing. Oh, love. Ali has been working hard to get the wildflower standing back up and it is getting there. It might take a little bit of time, um, but the path isn't quite so covered anymore. It's just gonna, this bit maybe needs a little bit more of a helping hand, but heading down to the kitchen garden because there is always lots to do, although there is no more sweet peas out just yet keeping me waiting but this guy is still doing so well i know i should pick her but i just can't i just can't our garden at the moment is honestly like it is a bumblebee haven absolute haven but i'm in the greenhouse and wow it's got hot in here and these have melted <laughs> hilarious but these are my little topiaries from hello petal i love these in these wicker buckets oh my gosh so gorgeous and then we've got this trio of planters here which i'm going to quickly get these into their pots so that they're ready to go i'm going to get everything potted up so that it is lovely and then i'm going to give everything a water because it is very very thirsty in here um i've actually already started giving my cosmos oh my gosh we've got little buds coming in oh wow um the other thing that i've done in here is it was really good actually i was when i was at dalesford yesterday um they had this really fancy like plant feed and i was like oh i really love the bottle of it and instead i actually had these coming anyway and i just decanted my fail safe um what's it called like feed into one of these because um it just made so much more sense. I think I want to get some little labels that I can write on them what they are, but um, instead of spending money on like um, expensive packaging, I can just decant it into here because it's been a really reliable feed that I just get on Amazon and I can just decant it into these so that it looks like, you know what I'm like. I am affected by how things look. Like my greenhouse is a very visually appealing to me greenhouse. And so I want everything to look lovely and just be very experiential and just feel like you're coming into a different world and things like this bother me. So yeah, I decanted it into here and I'm just gonna pop a little bit of this into my watering can and give everything a feed as well. I've got a spare one here too, but yes, let's get potting. Well, they are all potted up and ready to head on to the terrace table. So I'm gonna do that before laying the table for dinner. Although it does look very lovely with the flowers that are currently there. However, they didn't really survive the storm. So I'm gonna to have to deadhead these and let the other blooms kind of take over. But this does look cute. Very, very cute. I've just deadheaded my cosmos and all of the sad little lonely flowers are gone. This one needs a bit of TLC, I think. And also perhaps, I mean, they did get good rain yesterday, but this one's not looking as happy. I think maybe because the door is often open and maybe it hides this one a little bit, but we'll see. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to harvest all of these seeds from the center and see if I can use these seeds next year. Oh my gosh. I literally saw them. I was like, oh my God, that's their seeds. Yeah. Fascinating. Dinner in the garden with a little Lumi sniffing the myrtle. Do you like that? Lumi always likes to sit on the table with us and I know that there will be people that are horrified by that but we have no choice in the matter. I don't know if you've ever tried to tell a cat what to do but um, it doesn't go down too well. So Lumi tells us what to do. <laughs> well there I was wondering if I was going to get some pods anytime soon and we have our 
first Monge 2 of the season. There's actually a couple in there. I'm trying to get this to look a bit better because it just was really leggy to begin with because it wasn't getting enough water. And look, there's even a lost, a lost one here. Let's get rid of that. That was one of the ones that didn't survive, basically. Um, but luckily, we're seeing some pods now. I would say that Monge 2 is the hardest thing to ever see. There's another one up there because they just they're like disguised they're just so hard to see but i'm happy that there's lots of blooms on here it should mean that i'm going to get a really good amount of them and i'm going to remind myself you heard it here first that i need a much taller structure for monge too i definitely think one of these would have been a lot better but in the next few days sweet peas are going to be coming in hot like that straight from the plant and they are the sweetest most incredible monstu you've ever tasted mm. next job is to sweep up all of the blossom and mud from earlier so it's the thing with a garden it never ever stays tidy so it's my job. Ali has done the deadheading on the roses, so I'm gonna just go and give them a spritz with some washing up liquid and water to help with the aphids. We just always get such bad aphids, so this year I am tackling them head on with my little spray bottle. <laughs> 